everybody, welcome back to another Black Shirt Beer Review. I'm, as always, the rightest. Jeremy's back with us and apparently has grown a set of balls. Because <laughs> he came in tonight and said, Rightus, I'm ready for something challenging. All right, Jeremy. I said fancy. Fancy. Fancy? Like my new hair. Well, we got Shorts Brewing Company's Captain Fantasy. How do you like that? This is real fancy. This is a collaboration with Half Acre out of uh, Chicago. Put it on the map! Collaboration? Yeah. I don't even see that. It's uh, it's a really small print. I guess they weren't very proud of it. I don't know. They want that ugly ass pirate on their mind. I know it's thing. terrible. Jeez, like my that was beer flicking horror. skills today. But uh, this is labeled as a Paris saison with profuse hoppiness. But it's only got 55 IBU. I guess. Whoa. Fancy. That is super pale. I mean, Cezanne's have a general... That looks like a mimosa. ...really light color, but holy wow. And this is, this is unfiltered, so mm -hmm. you know, it's gonna have all sorts of awesome nose, and it's, not, it's still on the table and I can already smell this. Are you gonna be able to smell it through your most awesome hair? Yeah, my new hair. Mm. Just bought it today. Holy wow. This is this is pretty interesting. I, I, I really don't know where to go with this. It looks like a banana smoothie almost. My nostrils are in pain with 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 fantasy. I, I don't know if this is good or not what I'm smelling. You know, it's got that general yeasty profile with you know lots of fruit in it that uh, you know saisons generally have. But there's this just really weird version of pear in it. <laughs> it's like, it's the pear that should not be. It's just, it's kind of weird. Um, Ready? I, I'm, I'm not sure. Let's find out. I'll, let's do it. We need to get through this yeah. together. Boy, that's how. Oh, where the hell to start with this bad boy? It's complex. You know, that's that's all there is to it. It's super complex. It really Whoa. starts really super super bright. That aftertaste is making my weave hurt. Oh, it, it's that aftertaste. Yeah, it, like, like I said, it starts Seriously. really bright, but then like that yeastiness comes in, and somewhere mixed in all that yeast oddity is the pear, so yeah. that it almost tastes like a rotting pear. <laughs> the hops is, it's too much with the pear. Yeah, it just, it's it, weird. It They're did. both very, like, not matching flavors at all. Like, it's just clashing right now, mm -hmm. like I said, it's... It's good! I think it's kind of good. In a weird, weird way. Really? There you go. I can't handle this. Like I said, this tastes like a rotting pear in my mouth right now. Although I have no frame of reference for that type of thing, this is what I would expect a rotting pear in my mouth to taste like. This is fucking terrible. I I can't I can't even drink anymore. I'm gonna go drink something else to try and get that taste out of my fucking mouth. It's no way <laughs> though. Know. It's terrible. Nobody drink the beer. The beer has gone bad. All right, Jeremy, refute me. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, I can't even handle that, man. <laughs> yeah, immediately regretting that decision, aren't you? This, that looked terrible, dude. I hurt myself. Oh my god, look at that. See what you've done, Shorts? I... I, I can't even really... 
uh, sure, yeah, there's definitely hops profile here on top of rotting pear. I don't really get too much malt profile because of the flavor of rotting pear. And, uh, I took one drink and based my first opinion on the one drink mistake because I took a second drink, even though it was half a glass, and it's gross. It's the six and a half ABV on this isn't even going to redeem it at all. Zero. Big fat zero. Yeah. Stay, stay the hell away from this. I can see some people liking it. I can see some people fucking loving it. Sure, this. I guess. Maybe. I don't know. I, 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 not me. But I'm not a guy for that. I don't even know what this is. This sort of thing ain't my bag, baby. It tastes like someone like pureed like $100 bills and then put them into orange juice. You know, and then I just poured a bunch of like... I don't know, grain alcohol on it. I bet you I know it's why. It's not good. <laughs> I bet you I know why Half Acre is in such small font. They got the hold of it and they're like, no, we don't even want to be on the bottle. But Shorts was like, no, you're going down with us, motherfuckers. This is bad. B-A fucking D. I, I have not given my review yet. I give it a zero. Like, just like... First time. First, this is the first, this is the first for Black Shirt Beer Review. A full-on blacklisted beer. Get away from this. Find this and pour it out for the sake of humanity. It's, Shorts, I'm sorry, but this is crap. I didn't get to live my fancy uh, fantasy. Oh, I guess. you got what you asked for. It's named after, a, I do believe, a really, really awesome Ween song. But it's a really, really, really terrible beer. beer. This looks like a drag queen, but it's a pirate. <sighs> Pirate. More like an ass pirate. Drag queen. Well, Shorts, you're going to have to do something to redeem yourself with us here. We're, we'll give you another shot down the road because I know there's something out there of yours that's going to be worth it. I love Shorts. Generally. Generally. I've been trying some very different ones lately. Don't it's, like that one. It's fail. Sorry, guys. So, and I'm sorry to you too, Jeremy. I did that one to myself. Yeah, you sure did. Until next time, I'm the Rhinus. I'm Jeremy. And I'm gonna go try and get this fucking taste out of my mouth. I'm fucking depressed, man. Oh my god, that was terrible. Peanut butter disaster. <laughs>